and we're back so um welcome everyone to my second uh video tutorial series on uh, how to play kantai collection and this is a continuation of the last one except i have uh the view bigger and my kantai collection viewer screen is on this time so anyway um uh yeah definitely you want to install this um there there will be a tutorial link or uh, uh information link in the description uh, if you didn't do it last time anyway kantai collection viewer very useful because uh the english version translate a lot of stuff for you especially the names like you know you notice the names are in english this is yubari and naka chan so this is naka this is yubari um it also tells you your your fatigue if there is fatigue um Right now, uh, my ships are not fatigued, but if they're fatigued, uh, they will have an orange face, and the opposite fatigue, opposite of fatigue is sparkly face. So she's sparkling, and you notice her morale is 85 right now. Uh, Naka-chan is 43. I believe it has to be under 30 um, uh, before the, the sad face will show up, but uh, even when you're under 40, it will already affect its performance, So which is why can can Cora can tie collection viewer is useful because it'll tell you if they're fatigued if they have minor bonuses when they're going into the next battle. Uh, it also gives you a timer when the fatigue ends too, which is really useful. And uh, there's also a bunch of uh, timers you can pull up uh, that you know it keeps track of. So if you ever want to see your uh, the status on repairing your ships, you know you can do that. Uh, the construction you can also see the names of the ships being constructed before you even know them, which is really really useful. So. Let's uh, let's say you know, or you could just turn it off. If you want to get surprised, uh, but let's say if I were to whoops, if I were to construct a ship, you know, uh, normally it wouldn't tell me what kind of ship it is, right? But you know, with this, you can just reveal the name, and so it's Hat Sushimo, and this is a pretty useless ship since she's not required in any quests, and she's pretty common. Anyway, it also translates your quests. Um, so you notice here, quests are translated. Uh, and all you have to do is click on them. There's one quest that's not translated though, which is collect all three Sentai ships, Sendai, Sendai type ships. Uh, so I'm telling you now, so you'll know in, for future reference. Um, so yeah, if you ever want to see what a quest means, you just click on them, and you just read right here. So this is uh, defeat ten enemy fleets, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway, it also keeps track of your expeditions, which I'll cover in a future. Um, uh, feature video tutorial and it's got tools to to calculate uh, um, like how many times you have to grind a map and depending on your ranking like how many times you'll get to your target level which is uh, uh, like really really how you say um, specific use but it, it has its uses so anyway the overview screen pretty useful you can also click on these boxes and go on the different tabs which is also useful um, so yeah that's how you use Ken Kentai collection viewer and um, what else? Oh, and uh, yeah, okay, for this video, uh, or for this uh, series, or this video, I guess, I will teach you how to keep track of your ships. So you want to you wanna click your ship list here, and uh, it, it'll give you a list of all your ships, and based on ID is when you've gotten them, okay? Don't worry if you, like, modernize your ships or whatever. Um, it always, depending on, like, when you got the ship, it will uh, it will put it at the last ID number. So you, you notice that in the last video, we got Hibiki last, right? So she has the very last ID number. And uh, this is this is how you check. Like, every time you get a ship, if you need, uh, if you need, uh, if you need to keep it or not, if it's useful for quests, right, you can check. Or if you already have a copy, and then you can just, uh, 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 like, throw it away or modernize it, scrap it etc so anyway so we're, we're, we're gonna do a quest uh, we're gonna do a sortie the same sortie again and I'll show you what I mean by when new new ships uh, go in the ship list
やっぱちょっといろいろ積みすぎたのかなオッケー、そう、if you have more than four ships, 
uh, you'll get this formation screen which you can take different formations. There's actually two formations missing because it requires more ships. But uh, these are pretty straightforward formations. And uh, so this one is line forward which means uh, all battleships will have... This is the highest firepower, uh, let's just say the highest firepower formation, okay? Uh, but it also means each ship has an equal chance of being damaged, okay? Uh, this is the this is a defensive formation. You'll have less firepower, but more defense. Uh, pretty straightforward. This is a submarine formation. Only click it if you want if you're using a submarine squadron. And this is anti-submarine. So if you fight against submarines, uh, which you will be in one world one five, the extra extra one world, uh, you're gonna want to use this. But for for now, uh, for most of the worlds one to four, uh, you're gonna be picking through between this this and this. There's uh, one here which is not shown. It's uh, the diamond formation which looks like a diamond. That's uh, for anti-air and it also protects your flagship. So anyway I, I'm just gonna put maximum firepower forward because I want to kill them as fast as possible. And uh, you'll notice that... Oh, one sec. You, you'll notice that uh, my, my battleships will uh, or my ships here will have two attack waves that's because I have a uh, aviation battle cruiser or a battleship which is uh which is Fuso right here my flagship is an aviation battle battleship so well, I'll have two waves of attack but normally you will only get one okay so that explains that and you'll notice in the bottom uh Kantai viewer is helpful because it'll give you pop-ups which you can disable uh when your repairs are done and whatnot <laughs> So hopefully I get a ship here and I can show you how to use uh, the ship girl roster. So this is perfect, remember perfect is 4 characters and an S. Okay I got a ship. So, so, so I, I, when you get a ship, you know, it, It'll add to your ship girl roster once you choose to continue or retreat. So for this, I'm going to choose to uh, continue. And I'm just going to end. I'm just going to continue, close the sound. Alright, so in your ship girl roster, uh, you'll notice that Shiroyuki has added to the, to the final list. Once you click either continue or retreat, they'll add, okay? And, um, and you want to like just cross-reference this name. To uh to a link in the description where it says uh the ships that you need for quests okay, and if if you do need it, uh then you want to save the ship whenever you get out of the sortie. So I'll show you that later. So battle number two. Hopefully I get something good that I want to save. ヒューガ Okay, so they managed to do damage to me, so I got two characters S, because I killed all the ships, but I took damage. And to get an S rank, you gotta kill all the ships. Alright, got a ship. I hope it's good. Alright, Izuzu. Alright, I got Izuzu. She's a pretty good ship. Um... And in fact, she's my highest level ship. That's how much I love Isuzu, right here. So let, let's pretend that um, I want to keep that Isuzu, okay? So you wanna you wanna cross reference that. You see, Isuzu here uh, is the last ship I've gotten, and let's just say I want to keep her. So how I want to do that is uh, you go to just add a ship, or you can just click that, and you click new. Make sure it's set to new, and then it, it'll be the last ship on your list uh, because. 
it, it's basically new it's just basically sorting by ID so this would be ID 500 this is ID 499 that's how you tell uh, which ship is which and there's other ways too you know like if it's locked and whatnot you know you can sort it out and figure out what the names are and eventually if you play as much as I do you'll know you know the name of all the ships by looking at their faces but for now let's say I want to keep Isuzu you want to click the lock here that prevents her from being modernized material um, uh, I think that's it isn't it yeah you can still scrap her but it prevents her from being modernized material so you won't lose her that way and also, um, you wanna you wanna get into the habit of uh, of removing equipment from ships that you're you don't want. As you can see, I have done that. Uh, actually, I'll leave that for another tutorial video. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and good luck, have fun out there. Make sure to subscribe and post any questions you have in chat.